seeding. In fact, uh, we uh, have probably one more day of all of the land that we want to seed, um, except for that CRP we broke about 250 acres total last fall. Uh, we need to rework that to kill all the grasses. Uh, it's just rough. So we're getting down to a little over a day left. So uh, it's about 12 o'clock lunchtime. What do you think, Kobe? Huh? What I have here? What's this? Is this a carrot? You looking for rabbits? Huh? You want it? Who says I should give it to him? Nah. All right. There we go. Maybe he thinks that if he eats rabbit food, he'll see him better. Huh? Do you like Do you like rabbits? Is there a rabbit somewhere? How about if you tie him with a carrot? Kind of like fishing. Huh? Hold this out and you hook one. Okay. Well, hook it. Okay. I think he mouthed back at me. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're making good progress. Uh, so far, how we're sitting on spring seeding, spring planting, spring seeding 2023. Well, we've got all the peas done. We've got all the camelina done. I've pre-sprayed all the acres ahead of the drills. I've gotten about a third of the chem follow done and then I had an issue with the sprayer. So part comes in tomorrow, we'll get that running and I'll be able to finish that up. So my dad is up north, finished up the last of our spring wheat, which is the farthest land up north that we have. Um, we're down to under, under 500 acres of spring wheat left, at least probably barely that. So I'm gonna get some fertilizer for the guys. Brad had to take off. So we'll get both buds going today, get that wrapped up. And then we've got 250 acres of new land that was CRP that we broke out that we're gonna turn into crop this year. And it's gotta get tilled again one more time. Um, it's a little rough still. Still a lot of grass sod in it, still a lot of stuff growing in it. So we'll take care of that. And then when that's done, we'll seed it. Or I'll probably spray it before we seed it. And you know, make so, so. Make sense? Got it. Okay. Let's go fire this truck up. Let's go get some fertilizer. Let's get this show on the road. Let's finish this season and let the rain come. We really need the rain. It'd be amazing if it came. Yeah, it's such a sad fummins. Engine's still at the diesel shop. I don't know. I got to call and find out what's going on. I think they just put it on the shelf and haven't touched it. So we'll get it running again soon enough. We'll get her cleaned up. That's just part of the game. Can't be working if you ain't dirty. Makes sense. Check it out. My custom hinges are still working. They got big old pins in them. A million times better than it was before. If you guys just see that video, it was like last year and they were wore out. The box would tip sideways when you were lifting it. It was bad, it was dangerous. And now it's better. Isn't that good truck? This is why we put a screen over it. That stuff likes to plug stuff. We don't like that. All right, one air drill down, down to the next, top him off, and then they're done up here. And we can get back to the farmyard and get to work. You're looking at my camera right there in the reflection. Yeah, that's what I see all the time.
There we go, all done. That'll be good for a while. Let's get all this done. We get this back to the yard and I'm gonna find something to do. Work on maybe, maybe the sprayer. Sound good? All right. All right, so we are back in the farmyard with both drills and we are going to sadly discontinue the 3555 precision air guard. Well, what's got going on is we're gonna start seeding that CRP ground that we took out last year. Well, it needs tilled again. It, like I think I talked about this earlier, it needs some work done to it. Well, we're gonna use this bud to pull the shovel plow to take care of that with the coil packer, the 60 foot shovel plow with coil packer. So we'll take this, we're gonna drop the tanks, make sure everything's out of there, clean it up, park it. Then we'll get the other drill going. I, we thought about doing some barley, but I think we're just gonna stick to weed. Get this bud hooked up to the chisel or the, the sweep and then uh, head out there and start turning some dirt and seed behind. So, let's bring the trucks over. Let's let Kay leg arms work the magic on this conveyor. Let's get to work. Are you moving that with your muscles? I don't have to try very hard. It comes naturally. That's a lot of weight. Do you have the hydraulics throw? Oh yeah, you do, obviously. Oh, we got a ways to go. Oh. We are done with this 3555 cart. We're gonna take the 600 butt over to the Quonset, we're gonna drop the cart off and the tool bar off, and then we are gonna hook up to our plow and uh, we gotta go rip up some uh, CRP that's already been ripped up. We need to rip it up more because it's still very, very rough and get that prepped and ready for some uh, spring weed on it because, well, it needs it. But anyways, we're done with that bad boy. That thing's awesome. I like it. It's got scales on it. It's nice. It's new. Pretty sweet. Yeah, that was fun. but uh, let me go show you what's going on. So Nick's coming over with a pipe wrench, a crescent, and a hammer. And uh, as you can tell, that doesn't look normal. In fact, I don't think that's supposed to be that way. So, I mean, you could be the judge of it. Yeah, that doesn't look right. It's supposed to look like this. Well, until he gets here, we'll have to take that off, take it back to the shop, weld it up, put it back on, and and see what we can do. Excuse me, sir, you're not supposed to park here. Okay, let's go weld it up. I don't need these wrenches. I thought I knocked something out. Oh, I did. Little cup. This is why I like these handles. You can use your elbows. He's gonna take that bad boy to the welding table and then 
We'll uh, hopefully make it stronger. The nice thing is where it broke is like right in the center of the threads. So it doesn't really matter how much weld or whatever I put on it to strengthen. Oh, the light's already on. What am I doing? I'm not really doing a whole lot. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's fix this thing. Ain't pretty, but I don't really don't care. Because uh, that plow has seen much, 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 much better days in its life. And if you look around the whole thing, what I just did will definitely fit in. Because it's just not very pretty at all. But anyways, that should get me going in a little bit. And uh, get more accomplished. And we're back in business. Cool. Ish. side like this at first he had a lead on me but at 85 feet I caught him to a 60 foot sweep pretty fast with that all said I didn't bring my drone so uh, enjoy the cell phone footage still it's gonna be fun tomorrow more to it we'll have three buds in the field how about that All right, another day, getting at it. Uh, I caught up to leg arms. He's up on the hill up there working this ground. He just started on this side of the field. We wrapped up that one, both uh, plowed and rolled, and Dad's seeding it. And the one we first started over there, he just finished seeding. So I'm just gonna kinda hang tight for a second because I'm a lot wider than he is, and so I catch up to him pretty quick. What I think I'm gonna do, we have a pickup here on site. There's a lot of rocks in these fields that are just randomly scattered around. I think I might go take his pickup and just go hand pick a bunch of them that are obvious and go put them somewhere while this wait and catch up to leg arms so he gets some ground ahead of me. Make sense? Okay. Yeah, it's making a world of difference. Running the sweeps through one more time. That coil packer and then the land roller. Just walking on what I rolled right here, what he just ran through versus the stuff from last year. It just didn't have enough working done to it. So this is gonna make a nice seed bed. I see a little bit of button kosher popping up all over throughout this too, so we're going to be tearing that up. That's going to be good, because I'm a little worried. It's all that pre-spraying I did this year. I, I don't know. I ran a heavy dose of just glyphosate, and I just don't think that all that button kosher is going to die, which isn't good, because we're going to have a flush in some of our crop. But we'll be able to spray it again in the crop and hopefully control it, and then hopefully get that weed it system rolling. We'll be able to start doing some really, 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 really concentrated heavy doses in very, very, very limited shots on each plant individually to burn them down hard and get control over this resistant kochia as well as our weed issue on this farm because the last two years, three years of absolutely pathetic crops and massive hailstorms has caused a surplus of weed seeds. And so it's just, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. And we've spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in chemical to try to control it. And we're just not controlling it. So it's frustrating. Let's see what it looks like where my dad just seeded. 
just finished rolling this. You can see some fertilizer on the ground when he had it out. He's setting it in. So this is what usually is rough. The previous material of grass and roots and structures, it, it's, it's matted with soil and it creates a really rough surface and uneven. So we're breaking that up. And it looks like, minus the fact that it's powdered, oh, there's actually some moisture there. Well, I didn't expect that. Oh, he's seeding into moisture. Oh, I don't know if that's just that one spot. I'll check other areas. I thought for sure it was just powder underneath, but that's good. Oh, well, that's gonna germinate. They're talking maybe up to three tenths of rain today. We could get possibly a half inch if a thunderstorm happened to hit it just right, but there's rain forecasted for later this evening and we are praying for it. Oh, we need it bad. So we'll see what happens. If it doesn't, then the next is about 10 days out for the next chance of rain. And uh, if we get something now, it'd wake everything up, start the crop and get us set for the next rain. If we don't get something now, we're gonna have some ugly stages of crop emerge. Some's gonna come up, some's not. That's always a bummer to have. So pray for rain. I guess by the time you guys watch this, well, no. This is what the CRP looked like before we even tilled it. This hasn't been farmed in 30, 40 years or more. So this is basically what we're breaking out. So we chiseled it twice, ran the sweep through it, and then now we're coming back with the sweep again, land roller, and then seeding it. That's a lot of operations. It takes a lot to get ground back into production again. If you don't do all this, with the rainfall we get, you won't get a crop. Okay, we're doing... Uh doing the last of the seeding and as you can see in the video uh, the drone shot probably is I'm in the five and a quarter with our trusty hey Kobe whoa 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 you gotta say hi all right he's just resting he was riding outside for a while and uh, Nick is right there as you can see off in the distance in the next field is rolling and Scott just over you can see the little part of that tractor right there is uh, he is uh, working the ground and what this is is last fall uh, we got some CRP come out land that's coming out of the CRP um, and so we wanted to crop half of it in strips to comply with uh, uh, the government's uh, rule as far as uh, erosion uh, just to make sure that uh, you, you know you don't have big fields as you're bringing them out and causing the wind blow and blow the soil and I, I'm, I'm fine with that um, so we worked it last fall uh, ripped it with spikes well they're actually uh, uh, they're they're about four inch wide uh, two directions crosswise and then I brought the plow with shovels and the packer and I worked it uh, once again and so then I let it set well there's quite a bit of grass that still made it through was growing uh, we didn't want to spray because it's still rough bringing all this sod out is rough so he's working it again which is killing about 95 96 percent of the grass is what i'm looking at uh or, or more also leveling the ground out a little more just making it and then nick is rolling with the roller uh, so that it will mash it down and we're just seeing it. It did provide, as you can see here, relatively smooth. It's not quite as smooth as the fields we've been farming. Um, it's just a little bit of uh, indolation in the in, in the field, but it's not bad. It could be a way worse. And then I'm seeding, and as you can see, it's uh, is pulling up a few sod clumps, uh, and. Uh, but it, I think it'll be uh, much better when we spray it and then harvest it, so.
took over for leg arms and the 600 bud, so I'm running this right now. I'm doing a little bit of, what do you guys call it? Tillage. And some weather moved in. Like I said, it's supposed to rain tonight. We're just praying it does, but uh, smoke moved in with the weather. It's like, you can't really tell out of the camera, but super hazy. And I didn't really think it was smoke until I stepped outside and man, it smells like a prairie fire out there. And it's the whole sky's covered. So there's definitely some type of fire burning somewhere. And this is supposed to be our rainy month. It's supposed to be just flush with water right now. And there's fires in the area. Isn't that wild? I think it's coming from Canada. So they must be having some issues up there. Could be a forest fire, I don't know. But this isn't supposed to happen until July at the earliest. and. Yeah, I don't know. I have to find out where this is coming from. Well, so, finished tilling everything that needed ahead of the air drill. We rolled all this, got that done, got those back. Yeah, I just finished in the last field here. Um, it's supposed to start raining in about an hour and a half, so he should get this wrapped up before we get back. The field that uh, we thought about ripping, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff growing on it, but it really needs sprayed, so. I get the sprayer fixed, we will probably just spray that and take care of it. Maybe we won't even see it, and I don't know. We'll see how much rain we get tonight. But with all that said, we're just about there. Almost a wrap. <laughs> 